Hi, you guys. My hands look so big. It's me. I am just painting these ATCs. And I was lonely because the girls are gone. And I was just sitting here watching some YouTube videos. And I was like, I should probably turn on the camera and include you guys and just chat chat with you kind of in the way we tend to chat so I'm just using my artist loft my artist loft paints from Michaels and I'm cutting <laughs> I'm cuting these. I'm cuting these little guys. This little girl. I have a, a shadow again because my light, the, I figured out if my light is lower than my camera, then I get a shadow when I go above the light. So I can't really go above the light, but I can bring you in closer and hold her down here and see how good that works. So I'm doing the, these ATCs, isn't it cute? Now these are some of those time consuming ATCs. I've had her cut out for some time and I've had a couple of them done, but they're just time consuming because for one thing, it was kind of a tedious cut out and um, I just sprayed, this is actually some paper that I, some book pages that I had sprayed some time back. And I had actually used this paper on something else. So some of them have little flower stamps on them. And some of them don't. I didn't have enough, so I had to piece, like this one's pieced. Right here, you can see. And, um... These are all my homemade sprays, which I love. I love the glitter in them. And this one's pieced, you can see right there, but I don't care, it's mixed media. And so you just do what you can. So I've already painted, I've already mounted them, put them on the background, cut her all out, and did her hair, um, painted her hair. So these are all watercolored, but these aren't the only thing that I worked on today. I also cleaned the girl's bedroom really well. I've been doing laundry, and these were some other ATCs that I had started a while back that were pretty ambitious as well. So what I did with this one is I had painted all of the tails because this was a series of six cards. So I had already did the the um, tails because as you can see, the scales are pretty tedious. And I did do each scale because I did some, these are the, the tails I did in my gel pens, and, but I wanted to add green and blue. I wanted to add some green into her tail. So see how pretty they are. And then what I did with the rest of her is her swimming suit top is done in gel. Her flower is done in gel pen. Her hair, the base of it is done in colored pencil and her body is colored pencil. But then I, I highlighted her hair in gel pen. And um, the back of the paper She's mounted on cardstock, but the um, background is a gel print that I then tie, um, stamp the EXO stamp on it. And she's got um, color box, dye ink around the edges of that, and then um, chalk ink around the edges to kind of bring it all together. And then I put some tool and some fibers, and I just stapled those together to give it a little bit more texture. 
but she was tedious. She was a tedious one, and I made six of her. But I love her. She's very cute. So these are all of them. She's a little. They're all a little bit different. Her swimsuit tops and the flowers in her hair are all a little different. And I only did six of her. So I, I'm going to post her tonight, but I didn't want to just post one set. I wanted to post, I wanted to get these ones finished up. Now the thing is with this one is I'm going to have to, this one's completely done. I'm not going to add any sentiments on her but I need to still ink the edges of those two. They're tedious because what I'm doing with her is I'm watercoloring the flowers. I'm color penciling. <coughs> the flesh. I'm color penciling the cheek color, but then I'm going back in with um, watercolors to give her cheeks some dimension. I don't know if you can see that. I just wanted some dimension in her cheeks. Oh, I still need to do the eye color on this one. But isn't she the cutest thing? So, she's time consuming. And the thing is, is look how many I made. So I've gotten three almost done. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of her. It's okay. You know why it's okay? Because I love her. She's fun to do. So I've just been making all of her eyes blue. I don't know what it is with these little dwarf looking characters, but when you put blue in their eyes, it just makes them look even that much more sweet. So it's really challenging to work with these um, small images and watercolor on cardstock. Now I could make it much more easy on myself if I would just do this on a watercolor background and run it through my printer that way, but I don't. <laughs> I don't know why I don't. I guess I kind of like the challenge of working on um, cardstock. It challenges me somewhat. I don't remember which one I just used it doesn't matter so <laughs> I did lose the thing is is I lose definition that's the one thing when you're dealing with an inkjet printer is you lose a lot of definition and that and this pin doesn't particularly like drawing on top of I'm gonna find a different pin doesn't like drawing on top of the watercolor it just doesn't so my um, other pin my uniball vision micro it bleeds out too much. Let's see how it does. Let's see, it just makes my lines too thick. I don't want my lines that thick. It's so hard to do this because I've lost, I've lost my lines. Oh, and I'm just messing it up. It's supposed to be a braid.
terrible on the back, but I'm just not going to be hard on myself about it. Oops, helps to clean your brush after you put purple on it. Yeah, so um, like I was saying, it's just hard to know how much paint to put on your brush and stuff so that it doesn't bleed. And sometimes you get it and sometimes you don't. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, you know. Now I like to do my flowers first because what happens is the the waxiness from the colored pencils, if you get it on the flowers, gives a little bit of resist. I don't know. It's just easier for me to do the flowers first. So I've been trying to mix the colors up a little bit so that not all of them look alike. Now and these are the paints that really are chalky and really absorb a lot of water. And I'm not going to lie you guys, this is really hard on my eyes. It is. So yeah, we cleaned the room, the girls' um, room today. I let I let them spend a good time up there by themselves, doing it, and they just they just can't get the fine details of it, you know. I don't like them to have since they have a playroom. I don't like them to have a lot of toys in their bedroom because really their bedroom's for sleeping, and it's they share a bedroom. And so that's challenging enough. I think we're getting to the point where we're seriously thinking about putting them in separate bedrooms because they really do just goof off a lot at, when it's bedtime. You know, the wrestling, that's the problem is the wrestling. They, they climb into each other's beds and then they wrestle. And so we're thinking, we've been talking about putting them in their own rooms just because I don't think they're getting as much rest as they should. Because one wakes up the other one and I don't know. But then I have the fear that they're going to just go into each other's rooms anyways because they're, they've always shared a room. So are they really going to be, are they really ready to have their own rooms, I guess? Because Brooke always wants to sleep in her sister's bed. She always says she has nightmares, and that's because when she goes over to her dad's house, they don't monitor what shows they watch on TV, so she comes home and tells me things like, yeah, I watch The Walking Dead, or yeah, my dad let me watch Chucky. It's like, great. So then, you know, she has nightmares. So then she wants to sleep with her sister because she watched scary shows. Some people just shouldn't be parents. I guess if your kid was exposed to that kind of stuff all the time, but they're just not exposed to that kind of stuff on a normal basis. So then when they are exposed to it, it's like totally scary to them.
I don't know. Then their mom just got all mad at me because she picked them up. And then she's like, can I keep them until Monday? Because she only gets them until Sunday. She gets them from Friday at 6 until Sunday at 6. Well, she was just, what time is it? She was almost an hour late picking them up. And so she says, can I have them until Monday? And I'm like, no, they're, we started school. They have school. And she's like, oh, okay. Well, then she gets upset with me. But yet, she get, they get, both parents get upset because I homeschool them because they think they should go to public school. But yet, if they were in public school, you wouldn't get them. So, I don't know. Like I said, some people just shouldn't be parents. That's why some people aren't parents. You know what I mean? Yeah, so this is, you know, I hope that whoever takes these appreciates. I, they do. I know they do. Because these are not... These have a lot of heart in, it, in them, these ATCs. Every little stroke has a stroke of laugh. And I know that like these little flowers, I don't know the colors of flowers. Like I don't know if these flowers are supposed to be pink. I just color them whatever color I want them to be. I know that little girls don't have big countries starving to death, but then they probably don't have um, bandanas of flowers on their head either. They might, but typically probably no. Yeah, so I um, will be live tomorrow at 1, and we are going to embellish tickets. So I will be doing both tickets from the Dollar Tree, you know, pre-bought tickets, little raffle ticket type things. They have them. You get a bunch in a package from the Dollar Tree, but I'm also gonna show you how to make your own tickets just from a piece of card stock. So if you don't have any tickets to alter, that's okay. You don't need them, because I'm gonna show you how to make your own. Her hair looks kind of green, but it's really blonde. I think it looks kind of green because it had black highlights in it. <laughs> but we're going to put some green leaves, and I think I'm going to use this blue-green. See, now that's kind of dark, and I'm going to totally bleed out my lines here. So I'm going to white, just kind of whitewash these leaves. I know that it's not going to look real dark, but it's okay. See, I've lost all the definition in my leaves, all the black lines. It's because I have an inkjet printer. 
So as soon as you touch water on that, poof, all gone. I was watching a YouTube channel of um, a lady that I typically really enjoy watching, but I was to the point where I was just like starting to fall asleep or I was like, oh, I can't watch anymore. And I don't know if it's because I'm tired or if it was just particularly just becoming one and drawn out to me and then I started to wonder, I wonder if my video, I'm sure my videos are like that to some people. So yeah, we're going to do that tomorrow and then um, if you haven't done your stepping stone for Faith Art Unedited. You still have another week because remember we're doing those bi-weekly. And then next Sunday is when I will put up the next stepping stone. And so I am working on putting next week's together. And, you know, I started to work on a calendar so that, you know, if people wanted to get ahead. But I I started to do that, and then I started to think, you know what, I don't want to do that because so many things in life change. And I kind of want to keep it free. Not so much for what's going on in my life, but um, just to keep it open. Um, keep my feelers open, you know, see what kind of taps, what kind of taps I receive. Kind of just follow, follow my instinct type of a thing. So I th hope you guys don't mind, but that's that's kind of where I'm at right now with all of that. I just don't want to plan a whole lot for that group because I just want to kind of keep it free. Keep it all open-minded and free-flowing. And just kind of go with my gut. Now the roses, I think I kind of, I know that it's not typical, but I kind of want to do some blue roses. I just keep my water bottle handy, and then when my paints dry, start to dry, I give them a squirt. But I really think, now this is the hard part because the roses are the biggest part of these flowers, well besides these ones right here but I really don't want my paint to be really wet so what I have been trying to do is just kind of dot the paint and not try, you know, try not to paint over the black lines too heavily and I know that I'm still going to lose some of the definitions, but I think that this kind of helps me a little to prevent some of that. So I'm just kind of tapping it into the petals. This one's harder because the petals seem to be thinner or condensed. <laughs> and 
then by tapping it like that you can go back in with a darker color of blue if you want. Kind of do a more of a blending type thing. But at least you're not like totally working that paper until it actually starts to like the paper starts to get really loose and the fibers start to break up even so you don't lose as much of those lines and then the paper starts to break down on you. I don't know, you just got to kind of play with it and do what works best for you. You could always use your colored pencils on, on a card like this just all the way around or use your gel pens, you know. You definitely don't have to do watercolors. Watercolors are just so relaxing. I just get so relaxed when I watercolor. And who cares if you don't get all of it? If you don't cover up all the white. So see I lost a lot of that definition in my flowers. I can still see them enough to go back in and draw them in. And if you've got a good pen with fine lines on it, I just don't happen to have a good pen to draw them in. So I'm probably going to leave that one alone. Or you can always go in with your paint. Like I've got a pretty dark blue here. I could go in and try to, you know, draw some of this in. You know, I don't know. Whatever you think looks best. Thing is, once you start something like that, you gotta, you gotta finish it, or it just looks silly. Okay, so I'll probably leave it like that. And then I still have to do her skin. So I'll show you. I don't want to make, I, don't, I mean, you guys don't need to see me do five more cards. <laughs> but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what I was doing. So I just go in and put some color on her body. Her poor little skinny body. She's just a normal person because she doesn't have um, turned up um, pointy ears or anything. This artist has some other little cute little characters too that I plan on working with in the future. And I have to look, I don't remember. I think I might have bookmarked this web page. I'm pretty sure I do because it was when I found this artwork I was just like oh my gosh can you get any cuter I saw this little face but I will put a link 
in the description box if you guys want to try to do some some art on these little cuties. Yeah, so I still have to vacuum. I haven't gotten my chores done, but you know what? You can only do so much chores in a day. That's what I think. So then for the cheeks, you can kind of see where the drawing of the cheek was, and she's got some really high cheeks, so I just tried to draw some cheeks in, and you can see where my... Um, inkjet printer my ink kind of bled when I color penciled the skin tone in there and that's okay this is mixed media things aren't gonna look perfect but I did find which I don't know why I didn't see my paper breaking down here you can only work cardstock so much and it starts to break down on you so I should have done my cheeks before. I did the flesh tone and I knew that. This is just my jelly roll pen. I'm gonna go back to where I don't want the color, like right underneath the eye. And I'm gonna try to blot out some of that color and the white doesn't really affect it all that much, I don't think. I mean, you might have another opinion, but I think it just more highlights the cheek than it looks obnoxious or anything, okay? Now, you can go in here and start messing with it if, if you want, but if you're afraid you're going to ruin it, then, of course, you've already done so much work to it, so don't mess with it if you feel like if you feel like you're going to mess it up because there's no need right I just always try to make it I don't know why I do it but I'm going to go in here with some pink paint see I'm still getting some black from my printer from somewhere I'm just swishing this around on the cheek. I just want to add definition to it. Okay, can you see that? Looks pretty dark, right? That's okay. Clean off my brush really good. Get a lot of water on it and go into my white paint. And I want it to get, I don't want it to be really watery because I don't want my paper to start to break down on me. So I'm going to get it as thick as I can on there. And I'm just going to go over it with some white. And just try to blend that all into the skin tone and everything. Okay, so that was probably all really unnecessary to some people, but I like to challenge myself like that. So that's why I do it. No other reason. And I like the way it looks. <coughs> it just adds what I like to it. I don't know why. Okay, so I am going to continue. 
and try to get these five more done. I don't know if I'm going to get them done, honestly. I might just post six of these. No, I will. I'll get them done. I'll definitely get the water. I'll, um, what do I want to do here? No, I'm just. I was thinking maybe I would do some with gel pins, but I'm just gonna. I'm gonna get the series done. I can do it. I was thinking that maybe I might do some in gel pen, but no, I'm just gonna get it done. I'm just gonna do them. That one I've already got the skin done. I don't know why I didn't finish the hair. See, I'm just pretty much all over the place. So, I just need to finish. I just need to keep going. And if I get to the point where I start to feel anxious about it and I start to feel like um, I've overextended, then I'll walk away for a while. If I need to walk away for a few days from it, then that's what I'll do. You know, I might try to gel pin some of the flowers. I might, I don't know, should we try it? I like working with the gel pins. It's like painting, honestly. The gel pins are like paint. To me, anyways, it feels like paint when I'm using them. It's like, because it comes out of the pen like paint. What color do I want to do my work? And you know what I like about the gel pins is, is some of them have sparkle. I mean, honestly, how can you not love that? I mean, look how liquidy it is. It's seriously magical. Now, are these high-quality gel pens that I got from Costco? No, they're not. Were they worth $14? Yeah, I got a hundred of these suckers for $14. Are you kidding? Bill of the century. See, this color's dark. I'm going to lose a lot of my black pen mark. It's just going to look like a blobby flower. So I'm not going to do all that dark. I'm going to leave that out though because I want to see like these two colors. Now yeah, they're different, but this is kind of a metallic y color. Let's try something here. Can I thin this stuff out? Oh my gosh, you guys, look, you can. You can totally thin this stuff out. Now, had I been faster with it, it would have worked better. I added a little bit of water to my brush if you're wondering what it was I did. Definitely thins out the sparkles. Huh. So I've got some wet spots on my paper. Okay. Oh my gosh, I kind of like it. I 
Okay. I kind of really like that. So let me try something here. If I go around my edge, right, my outline where I'm losing definition because I'm using an inkjet printer, right, it's on my edge, and I pull my color in. Hmm. 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 So if I take it and put it on my edges of this one, which is tighter, more condensed flowers, but you can get these gel pins to write pretty darn fine. If you go straight up and down and don't press hard at all, you can get them to go pretty fine. I'm not being precise at all because my pen is finer or my pen is thicker than my lines. Now I'm just going to take some water and bleed that color. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's pretty. color on these ones. I think you got, now these gel pins I've noticed they don't dry fast because I smudged them on my mermaid. I was really upset about it because I kept smudging them and then I had to fix my mermaid's faces because I kept smudging, smudge, smudging. I was smudging on my mermaid. so I'm taking the color the nice thing is is it moves the glitter I don't want that glob of water it smears the glitter really nicely oh guys okay that was a little flower let's try this bigger one The water doesn't seem to be affecting the, the um, performance of the gel pen from writing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not putting a lot of water. Just enough. Now this isn't going to give me a lot of color on here because obviously it's yellow or gold but it is definitely moving my glitter and it did move the color and I forgot to put some here see it doesn't affect the way my pen writes so it what it's doing for me it's still defining those lines my flower lines so it's giving me darker sweet now obviously this one I didn't do it that way you guys saw how I did this flower this one looks better okay so let's try to do those little guys what color should we do um, I think we need to do it blue Let me wash my brush. So we've got these little guys down here. So you can really still control your gel pins by just not pushing down and that makes your lines thinner, right? And um, you can control your pin a little bit. So just by putting it on the edges, I can pull that color in so that it brings some of that color into the rest of the 
um, petal. So on these ones, obviously the petals are behind the other flowers, but we can definitely still do this. Dip my gel pen in the water. Let's just do the gel pen. Who needs a brush? So if you want to pull more color in, I suppose you can just put a thicker line of gel pen. And pull the paint or pull the gel ink in. Yep, so the th if you want more color inside your petals, just make your gel pen line thinner, or thicker, I mean, sorry. I like it. I like it. Okay, so let's do some leaves. Let's do some green. This is a good color of green for leaves. I'm anxious to see the leaves because I was losing my in frame. I was losing so much definition by watercoloring with the watercolors. I still like the watercolored ones. This is just a new way. Okay, so let's, and the thing is it doesn't bleed a lot onto your brush. What if I added a little bit of watercolor? paint just to help fill that color in a bit. Yeah, that looks pretty. So I'm just taking a little bit of watercolor on my brush. Maybe that was more than a little. But I still like what it's doing. It's protecting my my ink lines, and it's defining them. It's keeping them defined. You know what I just realized? This is a flower back here. That's not a leaf. That's one of these flowers folded over. Duh. Sometimes you don't notice these things. So there, that's a flower. It has a little bit of green paint in it. Because I didn't wash off my brush from the green watercolor paint enough. This is just a bud, flower bud. It has no problem going over the water. Now oh, that looks good with the glitter. Okay, so let's do these. Outline. These pins do get themselves a little clogged once in a while. I think that's pretty common with um, gel glitter pins. I don't think that's anything out of the ordinary. Okay, so I did take some green paint onto my brush. Some watercolor paint onto my brush. I really like it. That one. I 
I need to run to the mailbox before it gets dark. I ordered a new Bible and I'm really excited to get it. I like how it protects my lines. I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna, this is a little leaf. This is a little leaf here. I needed to make sure I was in frame. Okay, this is another little leaf. Okay, and this is another one of those little buds. Okay, so I'm gonna put the paint on there, but then I'm gonna go back over it with the gel pen. Because I think they look good all jellied. And there, you guys, we're done. What do you think? Okay, so this, let me get the good watercolored one. Now I'm looking at the watercolor ones going, hey, they're kind of e compared to this one. No, I like them both. Which one do you guys like? This one's watercolored flowers. This one's gel pen and watercolor. I mean, I can definitely go back through this one. Watch. I can add gel. That looks really pretty. See just the yellow flower, how pretty that looks. It's gonna be hard to match up these colors, but um, maybe this one. Yeah, it doesn't look blue enough. Yeah, it's tight kind of teal, but Okay, so this is the one that was watercolored that I outlined it, the gel pens, and I like it. This one I outlined the roses because I don't get a lot of color from the roses. I'm going to clean off my brush here. I got a lot of green paint left on it. I'm sorry I'm mumbling to get day, you guys. It seems like when I don't have to yell because it's quiet in the house, I mumble more. So I am going to take a little bit lighter of a yellow and pop that in here. And now I'm not so worried about losing No, I don't know what it's doing now. Maybe I need to not go over. You know what I mean? Not go directly over my gel print or my gel pen, my gel print. I mean, it definitely is. I'm not losing the definition I was without the gel paint, the gel pen over lines. I mean it definitely is there more. Let's do this little one.
It's harder to do on this one because the lines are so condensed. Okay, well, I think that that looks a lot better. So on the bigger flowers, I think that it's better and spent well, not not so much the larger flowers. I, I take that back when you're using the lighter colors because I can't drag the gold color out of um, the lighter colors. But let's say I do these little um, flowers in like this till. Did I do them till? No, I did them pink. But let me draw the teal and I am gonna draw I'm drawing more on the inside of the lines I'm still touching the outside but I want my color more on the inside of the flower so I'm concentrating it on the inside can okay, I might as well go all the way around the petal okay so I've got that completely on the inside I'm gonna take my brush I'm going to make sure that I got that yellow out or it's going to turn it green. And I'm going to go from too much water. That's going to bleed out because I put too much water. And I'm just going to touch the insides of the petals to bleed that color in. So it will pull that color to the inside of my petals. And it works really well. And the nice thing is, is it's pulling the glitter from the gel pen in as well. Now I've got some of these gel pens don't have glitter. So if you don't want the glitter, then you just use regular gel pens without glitter. I really like the effect that it's given because it's lighter on the inside of the petal. Okay, so I'm going to flip. Just so that it, I don't stick my hand in there. Now these ones are harder because I can only see part of that petal. So I basically just covered that whole petal. I'm going to keep a little bit exposed so that I can pull the color. Kind of smear the color. But then this petal is going to get the most effect because it's the biggest. Whoop, this way, Kim. Okay, can you see that? I know it's getting dark in here because it's getting dark outside. But hopefully you can see it enough. I think that you guys get the idea and I really am glad that I discovered this. I love it. Just touching that up a little bit. So give this a try, you guys. Again, here's the card that I um, went back over my lines, watercolored the flowers, then went back over my lines. This card was done completely using that t technique with using the gel pins and then pulling the color in. The leaves, however, I did add watercolor to the leaves. I outlined them first with the gel pens and then used watercolor to fill in the middles. This one I did the same thing. I did the outsides or the lines with the gel pen and then colored in the yellow roses. But the blue flowers are just strictly done with the gel pen. I am going to go back over my roses, like these roses that I've already watercolored, and I am going to go back over these with the gel pen to um, bring my lines back in my flowers. I like the glitter it adds to it. Now I do have some brown gel pins that I could go back through and like fix her hair that I might do that I messed up. 
Who doesn't like sparkles? I do. So let me just show you. Because these roses, I kind of messed up. Because my pen wasn't working very good. So see how much better that looks now? So I might do that. Well, I know I am. I'm going to go back through and do all of these like that. Love it. See, there's a reason why I turned the camera on tonight. All right, guys, I hope you all have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, God bless. Bye.